Hi, I'm Aaliyah Woods, co-founder and farm manager of Commonwealth Urban Farms. This is our beginning gardener video series designed to help you have a successful garden even if you've never planted a seed in your life. Let's take a look at our plants today that we've already planted and then we're going to talk about pollinator plants. First, of our, first off, our sun gold tomato, fantastic, full of tomatoes. So first thing, as always, we will... Whoops, I just broke that branch. Phooey. Nudge those branches back inside the cage, but don't break them. And then we have lots of tomatoes to harvest. When they, on the sun goals, when they turn that deep orange is when they're ready. Now we've had a lot of rain this week, as usual, <laughs> and they're starting to crack. Whenever you get a big rain, especially if it's been dry before, but even in our case, when it's just been raining and raining, the rain will cause, all that water will cause the tomatoes to grow very quickly fill with water and crack. So you really want to harvest them um, uh, right away after a rain, within the next day or two. When they crack, they're still edible, but they're going to um, start to rot quicker uh, when they crack. All right, our tomatoes are looking, our uh, peppers are looking great. These are the giant red Marconi, so they're still green. We could pick them now as green peppers, but they'll be much sweeter and tastier if we wait until they turn red. I went ahead and put this small cage over it because it was getting top heavy with the weight of the peppers growing on it. And this cage is also giving a little support to our shishito pepper plant, which is full of shishitos. We're gonna be harvesting those pretty soon. The herbs looking good. The chard I harvested a few days ago. It's starting to grow back, you can see that. Of course the yarrow is just looking pretty as all get out. Let's go take a look at the okra. Our okra plants are growing very nicely, even though they're not actually, actually in full sun because this garden is on the west side of the house. They get more, we're gonna keep helping our Armenian cucumber to grow up the trellis, just like that. And the hyacinth bean is growing by leaps and bounds. Just last week, I think it wasn't tall enough to trellis and now it's halfway up. There we go. All right pollinators. So whenever I think about pollinators, I immediately think of my friend Jody Lush, who is our resident bug expert at Commonwealth. So this is the pollinator garden that we have here at Commonwealth, and I asked Jody to join us and tell us a little bit about it. So Jody, what's what's this flower right here? That's called a golden crown beard. It uh, reseeds every year. It's a really easy plant to grow, and it's a great plant to attract all kinds of pollinators. This is your common milkweed or butterfly weed, different uh, common names for it. It attracts the monarchs. And you know, Oklahoma has a lot of monarchs that mi mi yeah. migrate through. We're kind of on the monarch highway, right? We're a monarch highway that mm -hmm. goes all the way up to the northern United States. And they need food. And then they also need plants to lay their eggs on to make caterpillars for the next generation. So this is the only kind of plant that a monarch will lay an egg on. They also like the nectar in the flowers. Now monarchs like all kinds of nectar, but they own, this is called a host plant. And a host plant means that it's the plant that the, a butterfly will lay its eggs on. Some butterflies are very specific and the monarch is one of them. It has to have a milkweed. So if you want monarch butterflies, if you want monarch butterflies, make sure the milkweed. caterpillars Yes. A, place, it's gonna be a, a place to grow. And what about this one with the pretty blue? That's a blue salvia. And uh, bumblebees love blue salvia. I've noticed it's a perennial, very, very easy to grow. It's gorgeous. And it attracts all kinds of pollinators, butterflies, in particular bees and native bees. Mm -hmm. And we have honeybees, but Honeybees are not native to the United States. We have native bees that are not aggressive. They seldom ever sting, and they are great pollinators, and they are better pollinators, actually, than hmm. honeybee. So we now we're going to plant some pollinator plants. There's lots of great perennial pollinator plants, and there's also some great annual ones. Zinnias, which come from Mexico, are a really good plant for attracting pollinators, and we're going to plant a few right in this patch with our vegetables. So Jody, tell me about who likes zinnias besides me. Besides me, I like them too. They're great for cut flowers, but to attract pollinators, you're going to attract um, a big 
big variety. Lots and lots of butterflies in particular. I have seen gulf fritillaries, uh, swallowtails, monarchs, all kinds of little small butterflies. And they just will spend a lot of time feeding off of the uh, nectar of Phineas. So they are great to have and they last a long time. So I would recommend those. Well, I remember our zinnia patch birds. last year was just full of mm -hmm. butterflies flying all around. I couldn't identify them all, but it was clearly the place to be. If and you that's were a, a fun thing to do too. Is to have, there's all kinds of ID books that you can get and learn about them and learn what the, attracts them. And the gulf fritillaries are really nice to have because they do come. They are one of the butterflies that really migrate. They just don't migrate as far. So on the zinnias, these got a little leggy. Should have planted them earlier, didn't get them in. So on zinnias, you can plant them a little deeper than the root ball is in the pot. And that way, we'll give them just a little bit extra support for those long stems. I'm gonna pop them in there, put the dirt all around them. And I'm planting them about nine inches apart. That's enough spacing for them to still grow well. I'm also gonna, <laughs> this kind of hurts, but I'm also gonna trim off the tops because that will promote more side branching and more flowers. All right, thanks for watching. Happy gardening.